There could be another spot in the running for the new FBI headquarters. Rebecca Cooper explains who's throwing the old Landover Mall into the conversation. Following the announcement, Sears will soon be shutting its doors as the last tenant at Landover Mall. Some local residents say they welcome the possibility of landing the much coveted new FBI headquarters. This 88 acre site, three miles from Metro and near the Beltway, meets many of the specifics the FBI says it's looking for. We have good use of this site. This site's been vacant and not very much for a long time. So it's time that they did something here, whether it's the FBI or another shopping center. Whatever, I think it's a nice place. Longtime resident Eileen Gray lived here when Landover Mall opened in 1972 and was a thriving shopping destination with top stores, including Garfinkel's and Woody's. But since 2006, only Sears has remained, sitting just across from FedEx Field, but without any other stores. I would rather see shopping here, but I would rather see uh, the area full rather than just one store. The Lerner family, which owns this site along with several other properties and the Washington Nationals, submitted a proposal after narrowly losing a bid for this site to house a new $645 million health center. I thought it was supposed to be a hospital coming here, um, so I thought that would have been better for the community, you know, but the FBI site would be good as well. More jobs, more than likely, but a hospital, in my opinion, would be better. For the area. One problem for this site being considered, developers have already missed the first December 17th deadline for proposals set by the GSA. Another hurdle, convincing County Executive Rush Ern Baker, who has backed Greenbelt in its bid for the new FBI headquarters in a fierce battle to beat out several sites being considered in Virginia. In Landover, Rebecca Cooper, ABC 7 News. And we contacted GSA to find out whether the learner proposal will be considered. A spokesperson says that the list of submitted sites will be treated as sensitive information and will not be made public. However, those sites available for use as part of the developer solicitation are expected to be identified sometime in the spring of 2014.